Some will hate you, pretend they love you now. Then behind, try to eliminate you. But who jobless, no man curse, thank God. We're past the worst. Hypocrites and parasites will come up and take a bite. To take a bite. Only a friend know your secrets, and only he he can reveal it or she. Who the cap fit? Let them wear it. The cap fit. You guys know that. By Bob Marley. This is Sister Toffee, creator of KMSC.online. What we discuss the power and the composition of the divine nature of your creator within your spirit, your power to manifest. For those of you that don't know that song, that song is by the late Bob Marley, Sr. I don't think he has a junior. Maybe he does. But I know he's got a lot of Marley's sons. I don't think there's a Bob Jr., is there? Anyway, song is Who the Cap Fits. And I'll link it uh, at the end of this video. Today is May 1st, 2022. That adds us up to 8-3. 2022 is a 6. May is a five today is the first and that's another six 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 is twelve that adds up to three and that takes us to capricorn energy the work i'm doing all this intuitively right now um so what i'm hearing from sirid is about south and north node what work have we done what work do we have to do what work have we done what work do we have to do and of course i'm speaking from within so that it affects what is outside. So, as within, so without. As above, so below. Okay, universal law being practiced here in nature. Our body, we are nature. We are part of Mother Earth. Okay, as above, so below. As within, it's our consciousness, our convictions, our desires, our beliefs, our passions. These are the things we're going to act out. And we manifest these through what the ancient Egyptians called the Netzeru, the power of God's nature in your spirit. So, um, today I just kind of had to sit for a minute. It's about 9.46 a.m. where I am because I kind of have to check, check the temperature uh, in the environment that I stay in right now to see if it's a safe day to record. Otherwise, I'm going to be dealing with a lot of opposing energy. So, it seems to be pretty favorable. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and continue. Uh, yesterday we had a full moon. I'm not quite sure in what. Let's see if uh, my phone will allow me to see what uh, what um, house, not what house, but uh, yeah, yeah. Well, exactly where um, exactly where the um, it was a new moon where it was placed in what sign uh, so that we can kind of get an idea of uh, where, we, where we need to reflect. Um, so it's actually um, a new moon eclipse. Um, I've got a guy here named Victor Odo. Uh, my favorite is uh, Molly McCord, but there's a guy here named Victor Odo, O-double-D-O. -O. You've got Pam Gregory. I like her as well. Um, Ablas Roland, I like him as well. Um, Molly McCord is my favorite, personally. Uh, and also like Ablas Roland a great deal. Uh, he's a more mature, meaning fatherly type of energy when I'm looking for a fatherly type of energy. Um, very kind man, very nice energy. Uh, Molly McCord as well. She's very thorough. Um, she's like the sister you wish you had. So, um, as far as this gentleman named um, 
Odo. I've never heard his, I've never uh, watched his uh, videos. Pam Gregory, she's extremely detailed and she's definitely for the astute. Um, very, very nice um, lady, I believe from the, um, you know, um, from the United Kingdom. Um, she does have an accent, so if you can't understand a British accent, don't listen to her video. <laughs> get, get an American astrologer to watch. Um, I guess that's it for as far as me recommending things. Um, a lot of people make recommendations, but they're not astrologers. There's another one named Tanya Gabriel. You can see what's going on with her, but uh, astrologers usually have an astrological software program where they show you the transits. So um, I don't know exactly what house it was in. I mean, what house? I'm sorry. Where it was, all I know is a solar eclipse. So I just tapped on this Tanya Gabriel. But um, all I know is it's an eclipse. And with it being an eclipse, it's about closing chapters in your life. Things that you know are just dead, done, over with. You know, trying to repeat them, trying to realign yourself to something that's dead done over with it's like it's a waste right um so we're supposed to be in the place of acceptance right now we're supposed to be you know we, we should have already closed up the chapters of doubt and what do we need to do all that should be done inside we should be done with that we should already have the resolve right now we should be building on a plan we should have already actually laid down some foundations or at least idyllically um, so we should already be moving into the new uh, building the plans for the new um, even if it's small steps even if it's just like I said planning if you're not actually building yet planning that's that's uh, that's a good place to be I don't think that it's too late I don't think we're in a rush I think the divine just wants you to know that they are aware of your efforts they're aware of my efforts they're proud of us they want us to keep going, um, but they do want us to keep practicing aligning first with the divine as above, so below first. Um, we're, we're getting out of this movement through the ego and through the um, earthly accolade system. We're going to the spiritual system of intuitive guidance, spirit guidance. That's going to take precedence in the future. Um, if not, you know, then things will be out of balance because we're, we're entering that uh, age of self-mastery which is the Aquarian energy it's the top of the chart in ancient Egypt and it's all about doing what you do the way you do it how you want to do it as long as it's alignment with it's in alignment with divine that's what it's all about you know we're all supposed to learn how to be our weird quirky selves as long as it doesn't hurt anyone but in fact it helps someone okay it feels good to us that's what it's all about right now so uh, what I heard, like I said, when I first got up this morning, I heard Bob Marley, who the cat fits. We're going to have to get real clear on who's who, what's what, what's what, or what the situation is, what the, what the situation was, and what the situation will be, and who you plan to be now, okay, and who you will allow in your life and who you will not, okay, uh, where you need to stay aware of your own weaknesses and strengths, where you need to stay aware and remain aware of people that have hoodwinked and bamboozled you in the past. And you need to be aware of how you're not going to allow that to happen anymore. Okay? So those are the who, what, when, where, why, how. Uh, and when it happens, when is all the time. Um, I think the most vulnerable times that we're all in, people always talk about being happy, that it's such a great state to be in a happy place. And it's fine when we're in a happy world that is in complete balance, but we're not. We're not in a place that is in complete balance. Some people prey on uh, moments of uh, unawareness and that's when they come in for the kill. Those are Stephen and his beings. If you don't know who I call Stephen and his beings, it's the devil or Beelzebub or whatever. All of the dark entities that are jealous of the divine gods and goddesses on the earth. And when I say that, I'm talking about people that want to be like Heavenly Father, Mother God. The mother is the universe and if you study the universe, then that's your mother. You're studying your mother. You're loving your mother. Okay? That's your cosmic mother. That's your perfect mother. No salt on your earthly mother. God bless her, okay, for what she's done. But we have the ability to learn how to love ourselves through understanding our Father, Mother, God. Okay? Father is the seed of all potential. All those aha moments, all those ideals that come that, you know, you see it's possible big dream or a fulfillment of you. That's all 
the initiation of thought. That's all God. That's divine masculine, third eye. Okay, thought, thought, tehuti, to measure. That's all uh, masculine energy. Okay, seed time and harvest will always be, will never cease. And seed is the male energy, thought, initiation, potential, composition of a thing. And then <laughs> there is the soil of that. The soil of that is the place where it grows. Okay, it feeds on fire, water, air, and earth energy. These four elements is what gives them life. Okay, and every season as it passes, each season brings them more growth, more growth, more growth, more growth. Finally, we have a bud. When we get the bud, we go through a few more seasons. Now we have a small tree, and then a few more decades, we have a huge tree with fruits, and the fruits are able to pre produce more uh, trees like itself. So, I'm saying that to say that. We are learning to get back to nature. We're learning to think about the tree and the seed and the soil and how things grow. We are those trees, those seeds, and that soil. And we are even the elements of fire, water, air, and earth. This is our anger. This is our ability to control our anger. This is our ability to get passionate and focused. That's the fire energy. Uh, the water energy is the, uh, the ability to empathize. It's also the, our ability to get into a depression. Um, it's also an energy to become overwhelmed with when we are uh, becoming aware of something that is kind of challenging. Um, it's both opposite, it's both, both polarities, you know. It's the contrast of both, good and evil, dark and light, happiness, sadness, all that. Um, so that's the water element. Um, and the earth element is just taking better care of ourselves, taking care of Mother Earth, being aware of what we're doing to the earth as we use the uh, resources that we're using on this planet, how we're affecting it, and how it will determine the longevity of human life on the planet. Okay, so we need to always constantly be thinking of how we're going to go green, and I believe that everything that you can do to try to uh, prevent the excess use or the excess cutting of uh, cutting down of trees or using, you know, trying to recycle so that we can continue to use plastic, um, you know, maybe if you are into stock, you can support the uh, innovative companies that are into, um, you know, green technology uh, so we can start moving ourselves in a better direction. Um, so that's all um, regarding the earth element that I could think of as far as your uh, decision-making processes going forward. Um, and the air, air is just basically making sure that you know what you know, making sure that you know what you know and what you don't know then look for the knowledge and find it. If you can't find it, then find somebody that has it. Um, so knowledge of self is the key uh, of all other knowledge. Um, so self is the compass that's going to guide you on your path, okay? Um, we all have unique paths. We need to know that we're being guided to our own personal highest good. Okay. Usually what we have to do for our personal highest good is to help someone else. That's when it's in alignment. When it's just about yourself and pleasing yourself, it probably has nothing to do with your life purpose. That's just something you want to do because you just want to do it. Um, when it has to do with helping other people, then it means that you're trying. You're, you are. Um, that's not true. Spirit's correcting me. Some people have a life purpose of just taking care of their families. Um, not everybody has a purpose of helping humanity. Some people, or, or their neighborhood, or women, or men, you know, we all, some have, some have uh, introspective um, work to do. We have, some of us have outer, out, uh, outer work to do, or introspective. Um, but it still affects the whole, okay? Um, so some of us will be working on the microcosmic area of building up people, uh, or our families, or even the structures of, a, of our foundations of our own lives. Others will be focused on uh, the macrocosmic, meaning, um, you know, earthquake proofing buildings, finding more green uh, resources, um, finding more ways to reduce, you know, the excess use of Mother Earth's resources, keeping water clean, keeping air clean. Um, all these things would serve us. Okay, uh, to not consider these things would be self-destructive, and uh, that's already been prophesied in this book. But hopefully, you know, we can uh, avoid that in many other books. So anyway, I want to read you this one, this first verse of Psalms. I asked them, what do they want me to give you? 
and uh, this is what they gave me. He said, they, they said, it's already there. Because I had this sitting on my altar. They said, it's already there. Why do I use the Bible? Because it was the first religion I started studying. Okay? Then I started studying Krishna. Okay? Then I started studying the Bhagavad Gita. Then um, I started studying um, Islam. Then after Islam, I started studying ancient Egyptian spiritual science. And uh, my next step is to study uh, the Yoruba. I haven't gone there yet. Um, I, I know it's, a, for me, it's a very heavy subject because it has to do with the ancestors and I already commune with them. So um, I'm just making sure I'm in alignment before I do that. You, you have to do what you're called to do. But uh, this book, uh, Psalms, was, um, I'm going to read the uh, forward to you. It says, the book of Psalms is the largest, perhaps the most widely used book in the Bible. It explores the full range of human experience in a very personal and practical way. Its 150 songs run from the creation through the patriarchal, the uh, theocratic, monarchal, ex exilic, and post-exilic post periods. The tremendous breadth of subject matter in Psalms includes diverse topics such as jubilation, war, peace, worship, judgment, messianic prophecy, praise, and lament. The Psalms were set to the accompaniment of stringed instruments and served as the temple hymn book and devotional guide for the Jewish people. The book of Psalms was gradually collected and originally unnamed, perhaps due to the great variety of material. It became to be known as Sefer Tehillim, Book of Praises, because almost every psalm contains some note of praise to God. The Septuagint uses the Greek word Samoli, Salmoi as its title for this book, meaning poems sung to the accompaniment of musical instruments. It also calls it the Psalterium, a collection of songs. And this word is the basis of the term Psalter. The Latin title is Liber Sol Salmorum, Book of Psalms. Okay? So I'm going to read you book, uh, Psalms 1, and we're going to close this uh, video because this, many, this is just a message about what Spirit wants you to know about yourself before you move forward. And um, they also wanted me to tell you about was another song they gave me. It was about loving yourself. Yeah. That's, I'm not sure who it's by. It's called If You Play Your Cards Right. I'll find it. Uh, I'm going to try to hook that one up too. But uh, those two songs came to me. If you play your cards right, everything going to be all right. Um, everything will be all right with me. Uh, it's about your higher self talking to your lower self or God self talking to the earthly self. If you play your cards right, everything will be all right. You don't have to hide what you feel inside. My love is guaranteed. And it's just saying that in the future we have to play our cards right. So I don't know what I'm going to title this, but yeah, this is about communicating with Father, Mother, God and playing our cards right. Doing better this time around. Okay, I don't know what I'm going to call it. So here we are, Psalms 1. Blessed is the man that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor standeth in the way of sinners, nor sits in the seat of the scornful. I'm going to read it again, Psalms 1. Blessed is the man, 1-1. One, one. Blessed is the man, or woman, okay, or womb man, that walketh not in the counsel of the ungodly. Okay, that means it doesn't walk with the ungodly, nor stands in the seat, it stands in the way of sinners, meaning people that just, basically are lascivious and don't have any limits you know there are people that do that they have no limits um, and that's how you cause destruction to yourself because you don't know you're allowing a entity to control you a demon okay nor sits in the seat of the scornful people that constantly talk about other people and have no compassion that will rub off on you and you will become a sour lemon too and start talking about people all the time and you won't know how to get out of it because you will have accepted a entity attachment okay um, 
I don't know if they, not clamorous, it's called um, contentious, contentious spirit, spirit of contention. So that's the spirit, by the way. Okay, so let's read on. Verse 2, but his delight is in the law, but his or her, that's one thing I hate about the Bible. I hate that it says his, like there's no women. I, it gets on my nerves. But his slash her delight is in the law of the Lord and in God's law. God is not a male. God is both male, female expression. Okay, what, we, what God actually is, we will never know in totality. Okay? And God is not just male because a male only cannot produce. Okay? Needs male and female. That's why we are the creation. We are the manifestation of Father, Mother, God. That's why. That's another thing that has to change. Is divine feminine is being brought back as deity. Okay? That's why the oppression of women continues because women are not thought of as deity. <laughs> and woman is the fulfillment of the man's idea. He's just, he just has an idea, but he can't fulfill it without the woman. Take that and write that down and put that somewhere special, men, because it's the truth. All right? But his uh, delight is in the law, and this is for divine, this is, I'm talking about divine feminine, not toxic feminines. Please do not <laughs> put the, place this on toxic feminines. If you're around a toxic feminine, protect yourself. And if you can't get away from them, keep your eyes open all the time and protect yourself and pray. Because spirits that are of demonic, in, uh, in, demonic, that are demonically spawn, male or female body, it doesn't matter. They're going to do damage. Okay, demons, de they do damage. They can come in male, female forms. So just understand that you're trying to protect yourself from entity attachments, and this is how you do it. Blessed is the man or womb man that, is, that walks not in the counsel of the ungodly, nor stands in the seat, stands in the, in the way of sinners. Sinners basically are people that know they're doing wrong according to universal and natural law, and they keep doing it anyway, okay? nor sits in the seat of the scornful. Doesn't sit around people that talk about other people, okay? Because these are all the ways that demons get attached to you. Okay, Psalms 1. But his delight, his slash her, okay, delight is in the law of the Lord, okay, or the law of God. And in his slash her law, actually law and divine uh, in, in, in ancient Egypt is ma'at. Ma'at is a feminine deity, not a masculine. So... <laughs> In his, no, in her law does he meditate day and night, okay? And he slash she shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of the water. And what is that tree? That's the tree of life. That's the neteru, okay? For those of you that believe in the Kabbalah, that's your Kabbalah, lit, you know, lit up times a thousand, you know, on 100, you know, connected to the planetary powers. The bring it, uh, that brings forth his fruit in his season, his leaf shall not wither. And whatsoever he does shall prosper. Okay, so he shall be like he or he slash she shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of the waters that bringeth forth his slash her fruit in his in in their season. I'm just gonna say there. I'm so sick of seeing his he his he. This shows the sickness of male patriarchy right now, and it has to stop. And I'm gonna say it as I said it because it's the truth. I mean, you know, you can only do so much self-absorption. There's two people on the planet, male, female. Okay. And one can't be created without the other, unless you're in a lab. And if you're in a lab, well, call yourself what you are. You're a lab person. You are not a human being. You're a lab-created being. So when you're talking about human life, it takes women and men. And this, that means that men are the only ones supposed to follow the, the, the God, God's law? No. That's why I, when you become more aware and the, and the, and the, we, and the, and the, uh, the veil starts to get removed from your eyes, you start to see the manipulation that happened in books like this. Yes, it happened. Anyway, <laughs> blessed is the man slash womb man, womb man, okay, same thing, they, okay, <laughs> and they shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of the waters that brings forth their fruit in their season, and their leaf shall not wither, and whatsoever they do shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but are like chaff, which the wind drives away, therefore the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment nor sinners in the congregation of the righteous. When it says the, the, the uh, ungodly shall not stand, I think what they're saying is that they will fall down from grief, from the angels of vengeance will come and deal with people that uh, do exactly what they were told not to do in Psalms 1. 
when you walk in the, in the counsel of the ungodly, when you stand in the way of sinners, when you sit in the seat of the scornful, talking about people all the time, okay, backbiting, all that, you know, running your mouth, libel, defamation of character, it's not going to get you anywhere. You have to leave that alone and be away from people like that because this is how you call curses upon yourself and the angels of vengeance will come and get you. There's laws. We all have to abide by these laws. There are laws that the divine says, we create a specific type of way, and as our children, we want you to create the way we create. We don't want you to create the way the one that hates you creates. Because that being creates out of jealousy of you. Anger, envy, jealousy. And that's why you are food for the devils and for the demons. You didn't know that? Yeah, you are. Well, now you know. For the Lord knows the way of the righteous, but the way of the ungodly shall perish. Okay? So basically what the divine is saying here, and why do I use a book that has been tampered with? Because everything's tampered with in this world. This is why you need a spirit of discernment. This is why you need to tap into your feminine energy, which is intuition. Learn how to be quiet, keep your eyes closed, meditate. Be still and quiet. When you do that, you'll get messages. When you get messages, you'll get inner guidance. God, divine Father, Mother God will speak directly to you. Your ancestors will speak directly to you. Your higher self will speak directly to you. Your angels will speak directly to you. Okay? The highest wisdom you can have is inside of your head, between your two ears. Right there. No one else can give you the best advice except you. You just have to get quiet. God within self, God within you is who can give you the best advice. All right, this is Sister Toffee, creator cam, I see dot online, and we're going to come back. We're going to play with some cards. All right. We're going to talk about the divine nature in your spirit and that spirit, what they want to tell us for the first week of May. May 2nd, I believe, to the what? 8th or the 9th? 8th. All right. Love you guys much. And I'll see you in two and two. All right? Peace.